Alienating young voters could spell trouble in 2024, especially for President Biden. Millennial and Gen Z voters went for Biden over Trump by 20 points in 2020. I strongly believe that the Republican Party as a whole must give my generation to the table. Brylin Hollyhand is the co-chair of the RNC's inaugural Youth Advisory Council. He thinks resonating with this voting bloc is key to winning elections. Uh, within the party of why we underperformed in the previous midterm elections in 2022. And to me, it seems simple because you have the Republican Party completely ignoring my entire generation, this huge, huge, huge voting bloc that's so crucial to winning any election, period. For this group of voters, politics is a team sport that could benefit from recruiting new players. I almost feel as if it's narcissistic for some people to think that, like, even into their old age, like, they're better than the generation that comes next. Hmm. It's similar to sports where it's like, just quit while you can and while you are on top instead of, like, degrading your legacy. We recently had a, a significant debate over whether or not it was time for our quarterback to hang it up and to pass it on to some young, younger blood. Is that disrespectful to say that you want what's best for the team? Obviously, a lot of thoughts from these young voters spurred by these recent events, which is why we went out and